Now, about the title. So, I moved to Irving, which is like maybe five, ten miles away from Dallas. Uh, it's three hours away from my friends, three hours away from where I want to be, three hours away from my favorite place in the world. Now, a bunch of you are probably thinking, why does this matter? Uh, if this was me, I'd be happy because I'd be, you know, more up north. If some of you are NBA nerds, you'd be like, I'll be in a city with an actual NBA team running. And don't get me wrong, that's not great. It's just <clears throat> I've moved a lot. Uh, and I'm, I don't want to move anymore. I wanted to stay in Austin. I thought at least in Austin I'd be able to like finish my high school and things like that. It doesn't seem like the case, does it? Okay. Um I'll tell you a little bit about myself because I don't think most of you know. Uh, some of my best friends know a lot about me. Uh, I'm not gonna say everything, I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown. I was born in, I think it was Melbourne, New Jersey. Uh, two years after I was born, I moved to India. In India, I stayed for, I think about nine years. Especially if you like who knows me better, you, if you guys saw that, you will know a little bit about me. Just like the bare minimum. Um, after that, uh, I remember I was in India. I wasn't as happy as I was in Austin, but um, I was fine with it. It was just like, okay, I'm here. Let's just go through life and see what happens. One day... I think it was my dad, because he's the one, yeah. My dad comes home from office and says, we have to move to America uh, in 10 days because he got a transfer to the U.S. Now, at the time and still, I think this was great because I don't think I've ever been as happy as I was ever when I was in Austin. Within the span of 10 days, we moved, packed everything. Uh, we moved to Atlanta, Georgia first. Uh, I hated Georgia. I hated it. My best friend really knows why, but I'm, I don't want to say it here. I don't want to say it now. Uh... We lived for, in Atlanta for two years. Or, yeah, two years. Um, and then, this time it was because of my mom's job. Well, technically, and my dad's, not really. Um, but we had to move to Austin. I honestly did not like Austin either. Kind of seemed a bit worse than Atlanta first, but then I met a bunch of awesome people. Bargov. I don't know if you guys know. I don't think you do. Harshit. Adi. Nish. And a bunch of my friends. Are from Austin. Now. Uh, we were really, really close. Especially me and Harshit. Bargov too a bit. And I, that was the one place I actually liked because I liked the school there, I liked the system. Uh, it wasn't too much of a workload. Um, 
I actually had my my best friends were there nowhere else uh, I found my love for many things there I like example YouTube and um, basketball basketball uh, shoes is kind of recent uh, hat collecting a lot of things I found my passions there and then this year I think in August August or July um, my mom comes into our room and says uh, this is when I was in Austin my sister was in my room and we were just playing around talking I don't know what we were doing my mom comes in the room and drops the bomb saying that we'll have to move now a bunch of you would be saying why does it matter you've moved a lot this must not be new to you you make a bunch of friends you have fun sort of uh, one thing I can say is I'm more what's the word I'm more committed here at least I wanna keep things stable because that's the one thing that has never worked in my life stability we keep moving from place to place because of instability uh, in Austin we were also thinking about getting or like renting a house uh, but we didn't do it again because of instability and other reasons so I'm trying to be more concentrated be more I'm forgetting the word for it, but be more active here. I did make a lot of good friends here. Maybe five or six friends so far. Uh, but it doesn't compare to Austin, no matter what. Austin was my oasis. Now I feel lost. Don't feel as happy. More, a bit more moody, I guess you could say. Sorry, usually my videos are more fun or I try to make them more entertaining. I don't think I'm gonna edit this the way I usually would. I try to put a bunch of memes, I try to make it more fun, because I'm not very entertaining, I'll be honest. I feel like someone told me to put on a blindfold, pick me up, spun me, and drop me somewhere on the earth. I don't really know what to do. I'm not as... Again, not as happy. Not as excited to do things. Okay, um... I'm sorry for the... Depressing video, I guess you could say. Uh, tune in next weekend where I'll probably either make a basketball video or like maybe another hydro dip video because my dad said that he'll he'll let me hydro dip his phone case I'm sorry I can't do this I'll see you guys later